Mabuhai, Kamasta Kayo, and welcome to another video. So today we're going to be repotting and propagating this agave. I can never pronounce the name of this one, so it'll be on screen. So yeah, I featured this in a video about a year ago now, and back then the two offsets were just starting to come through. One of them is almost the same size as the mother plant. A little bit apprehensive to do this, agave aren't the easiest plants to handle. They do have pretty nasty thorns on them, and they can get a bit grumpy after being repotted. But like I said, it needs doing. I do want to propagate this plant, and it needs a repot anyway. It's been in this pot and soil for a while. Now I'm hoping the offsets won't be too much of an issue to remove, and hopefully they already have their own roots. Not a problem if not, they should root up relatively quickly. There's a lot of old dried up leaves on this that need removing as well. Yeah, definitely wants repotting. Pretty nice root system. This didn't have any roots at all when I got it a couple of years ago from Edith. Certainly been a busy plant since then. Hopefully some of these roots do belong to the offsets. So as it's in an old mix, I'm going to remove as much of it as possible. As I said in previous repotting videos, it's always a good opportunity to check for beasties. This mix doesn't look too bad though. I thought this was in my very first mix I used to use with a cat litter. But I'm only seeing grit and lava rock. This mix will be going straight in the bin though, I rarely reuse old soil unless the plant has been in it for just a short while. I personally don't think it's a good idea to reuse old soil. Right, that's it all cleaned up. A lot of roots did come away, so this did get an unintentional root trimming as well. These feel quite old and brittle anyway, so it's good they came off. Don't want them rotting away in the pot. So the next thing to do is get all these old dried leaves off. Right, they should all come off pretty easy. Again, you don't really want to leave these on. It can attract pests and disease, and it just doesn't look very nice either. It should make removing the offsets easier as well. It's very satisfying taking them all off. So this offset feels much looser now, should come away pretty easy. Grip it as best I can and just gently pull it downwards. There we go. It does already have a few of its own little roots coming through. Right, this one feels a bit more firm. It's still attached to the mother plant like the first one. There's a few roots just starting to come through, but we do have open wounds on these which we'll treat in just a minute. Take the rest of these old leaves off. So yeah, not bad getting two decent sized offsets from this plant already. And this will produce more in the future. And of course the offsets themselves will produce their own. The only thing I don't like about agave is they're monocarpic, meaning after they flower they die unfortunately. But they should produce many offsets before that. So I'm just going to treat these wounds with some cinnamon powder. It's a good natural antifungal and does help to promote root growth. I'll put some on this smaller offset as well. And apply some to the wound on the mother plant as well. Now ideally you'd want to leave these for two or three days just to let the wounds callus over completely. But I am going to risk potting them up straight away. It would be pretty unlucky to have all three rot out. And most agave are pretty tough plants. Right, we'll pot the mother plant up first into a bigger pot. Soil mix I'm using is four equal parts of Donin's number two compost, pumice, kiodama, and zeolite. So yeah, there's actually two different types of this plant. You have this one with the white variegated stripe on each leaf, and one with yellow. This is the more common one and pretty reasonably priced. The yellow stripe one tends to sell for quite a bit more though. I did see one that was about the size of this one on eBay a while back. That sold for about £50 I think. And they don't come up for sale too often. This is the only agave I have though. Some can grow very large but this one does stay quite small and compact. This one is pretty easy to care for though. I grow this indoors. It sits partially under a grow light and it's been quite happy there. I care for this pretty much the same way as the Hawarthia really. 
gets a watering every week or two during the growing season and less so during the cooler winter months. Right, that's the mother plant potted up. I'll get the two offsets done and then we'll top dress them all at the end. Let's finish them off nicely with some top dressing, which of course will be some lava rock. And there we go, all finished. The two offsets should root up nicely and fairly quickly, and hopefully they'll produce their own offsets soon, and the mother plant will of course produce more as well. So no water for these for at least a week, and because the two offsets don't have fully developed roots yet, they'll get just a tiny bit of moisture every week to encourage root growth. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have some more propagation videos coming soon. Got a couple of Echinopsis and a Matucana that I have to remove some offsets from and some succulents as well. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and comment. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well, so you know when I upload a new video. You'll be safe and well, and I shall see you next time. Salamat pop alam. Bye for now.